Welcome, Let's Talk Network is here at the uh, SWAT Corps Model Air Force Base. We're going to be looking around at some of the models and chatting to the people that have built these incredible machines and just to see what they're doing, uh, what uh, planes they've built and what these things can do. We have the safety official just busy giving everyone a briefing. It's things like the fact that you know they're using quite combustible jet fuel around here, so they've got to be very careful with that. No smoking in the area, and there always has to be a fire extinguisher when they start these things. Are we here with Francois? Hi, Francois. How's it going? Hi, good morning. Good, good. Uh, do you want to tell us a bit about your plane? Uh, what is it? What can it do? It's a Viper jet, a Skymaster Viper jet with a turbine, uh, 160 jet cat turbine inside. Um, I guess it can really do what I what I let it do. Right. Um, in truth, it's quite quick. We'll, we'll see it fly just now. Um, you know, pretty plain, sort of two and a half meters by two and a half meters. Um, it's a plane I use to sort of practice for the World Championships oh, okay, um, with with the scaled models that I fly there. And um, yeah, I mean, hopefully everything will work fine. We're just getting it assembled. The crew's getting it together, and uh, see so you guys. We'll, quite we'll, we'll be in there soon. Quite busy over there. Uh, how long have you been into this now? The model uh, airplanes. I've been flying model airplanes since I was a young boy, but I've been flying turbine jets now for approximately the last ten years. Cool. Uh, and the big difference between the turbine jet and the others? I'm assuming there's a turbine jet in there but uh, what does that give you what are the advantages well it's a lot more speed it's a lot quicker I mean, planes are bigger but they they're uh, significantly quicker than the old propeller planes or, or, or you know uh, that type of propulsion system that we all sort of learn to fly on mm. you know turbines when you see them flying they, they they're loud they're very very fast as a result a lot more uh, tricky to fly your eyes have got to be a lot more um, geared to flying them is not the kind of thing you'd start off with in the sport. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I guess, sort of the Formula One of, 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 of model aeroplane sport. Cool. Up, what type of speeds do they actually get up to? This one won't be that quick. This one would get up to probably close to about 300, but we'll be flying another one later today. I'm just waiting for them to bring it, which we're going to attempt to break the world speed record with, which will be you know, just short of 600 kilometers an oh, hour. So cool. The current world record is 588. We'll try and do 600 k's an hour. We'll have that one here just now. We're going to give that a bit of a run as well today. All right, cool. You spoke about competition and stuff like that. What's actually involved in the competitions? The, the World Champs, which I'm part of the team that we are going over at the end of July to America. It's every two years. Now, that's a combination of flying and and the, the, the static uh, judging of the aeroplane. Those are big scale models. We, we don't have any of them here. But they're very, very detailed scale okay. planes, which you, you build you know meticulously down to the last uh, you know literal square so, centimeter so of detail and then you have to fly them. as accurate to the the real plane as correct possible. yeah it's actually judged to the photos of the real plane all right uh just a last question uh, if people wanting to get involved in this or find out more about it is there any way they can go yes i think uh you know there's a pretty much every city in the country has a club somewhere um, you know, somewhere close to them, some cities more than one. The best bet is, you, you know, get to a hobby store, get to get to one of your local clubs and get involved in the game. And, you know, you generally start meeting people and you, you start Just migrating up, up the chain from there. All right. Thank you very much. We're here with Devron. Um, hi, Devron. Uh, would you like to just tell us a bit about your plane? Yeah, uh, sure. It's a Skymaster Viper jet, which is a kit from, from the, the east. Um, the airplane's two and a half meters long. The wingspan's about 2.7 meters. And it weighs about 20 uh, kilograms for the takeoff weight. Cool. Yeah. Um, how long did it take you to build and stuff? These aircraft come uh, pre-assembled. Most of the airframe is built. Uh, it's just the assembly of the engine, radio, and, and components inside. It takes about three to four months to build one of these nicely. All right, cool. Um, I see you guys are all doing assembly. So basically, when you arrive here, the, the, the wings and stuff are not on. What exactly is involved in the assembly? Uh, I see like little air compressors. Yeah, that you yeah, it's too big to put in a car or a trailer, so it has to be assembled. And basically, what we connect is the fuel lines, the air lines, which run the landing gear and the brakes. And then the, uh, the checkout, make sure the control's working. Then we fuel it, and uh, when we got a slot, we fly. We generally try and keep one jet in the air at a time. All right, cool. Yeah. I can imagine, so you, you don't accidentally hit each other we or anything. We don't fly into each other, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are the speeds that your, your plane actually gets they up to? They vary. Uh, they vary from 150 kilometers an hour. The world record is over 500 kilometers per hour. These jets average between two and 300 kilometers an hour. Um, mm -hmm. 
it's, it's a good ballpark figure. Cool. Yeah. How long have you been involved in the Model A planes? I've been then? flying models since I was five years old, so I've been okay. flying for nearly um, 38 years. All right. And I've been flying jets for the last uh, four years. We were involved previously when they came out initially, but was an exercise in firefighting more than flying. Oh, okay. The new right. technology now is very, very um, reliable. We've been flying for about three years. On All right. New technology, yeah. Cool. Uh, and if somebody wants to get involved, uh, how would you recommend to um, them to get involved it, in these no, things? It's very simple. I, I also do instruct. So the, the, the line of or progression of this flying is you'll start with a trainer of some sort. Um, okay. Teach you the basics of how this airplane flies. And then as you get more experience, you would progress to a bigger, faster, more complex aeroplane. And jet aviation is the pinnacle of model aviation. That's where you would probably end up with an aircraft like this or um, uh, a similar type. But you wouldn't start out with something like yeah, this. No, but I you would go imagine. through a training At the speeds yeah. you guys are going, you make one mistake, it's, it's pretty much over. Yes, it's quite unforgiving. Uh, if you make a mistake or you have a failure because you're not sure of how the aeroplane should be built, you would probably... Cool. What's in your guys' remote controls? They're quite complex. And how many different levers or? Well, this is a 14-channel okay. system. You, I think the the most complex radio you can get is now is about an 18-channel. But um, they're all programmable. They're extremely reliable. The new engineering and new electronics makes it very, very reliable, which is what we want. Cool. This aircraft flies with dual receivers, which means it's all redundancy. And uh, it's a 14-channel programmable All radio. Right. What distances can you more or less get on well, these? Well, you things? can fly it as far as you can see it. The 2.4 okay. gigahertz, which is the frequencies we operate on now, between 3 and 5 kilometers. And uh, you would not f probably f see it further than a kilometer or so mm. away. Then you wouldn't know where it's going. Okay. So we try and keep it within. Interesting it. Just a question. I don't know if you'll know the answer. Does the new Wi-Fi stuff in interfere with you guys at all? No. Okay. No, the modulation on the 2.4 gigs is very, very discriminatory. So it'll only the receiver actually binds to a very specific radio. They don't even interfere with each other. Oh, okay, so no, it's that's very, very cool. secure. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Is there anything else you wanted to add? No. I hope you guys are here then. Enjoy the day. We'll do. We'll get All some right. good footage for us. Cool. Thank you very much All for chatting right. to us. No problem. Cheers. Cool. We're here with Rodney. Hi, Rodney. Hi. Hi. Um, you part of this model airplane uh, event. Uh, what planes are you flying today? Yeah, I. Um, it's a yearly event, as you know. Cool. Uh, I've got a Mirage 2000, yeah, which I'm flying today, and we've got various other models as well. Right. Uh, what type of plane is the Mirage 2000? Uh, it's a French uh, Mirage. Okay. It's a Delta wing. All right. Uh, it, uh, I fly mine with a 16 kilogram turbine inside it. Cool. And uh, yeah, it's full good retracts. It's it's like the full size. You know, right. It looks exactly the same. Um, and what speeds and stuff? Does, uh, does on that barrage, we've clocked it at 320 k's an hour. Okay, okay, that's quite quite a nice speed. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's quite a nice speed. Uh, do you guys find it hard, um, you know, piloting that at the distance at those speeds? Uh, yeah, you got to you got to keep your eye on it all the time because uh, it does get out of uh, out of sight very quickly. So you got to make sure that you plan your next maneuver before the time you know you just can't come in and do it you Got by it. the time time you've done one maneuver you've already planned the next one oh, okay so it does take quite a while to learn and get up to speed oh yes with these the flow especially on turbines yeah it does take because it's a different uh, way of flying compared to proper airplanes yeah. yeah cool um how did you get involved in this how long have you been doing it for i've been doing it now for 40 years and i've yeah. been involved in modeling quite a while, yeah. yeah and uh first got involved with u-control you know in the old days and then transfer from that to uh, power aeroplanes, prop aeroplanes, and then from there we went to what we call ducted fans in the old days because there was no turbines, and then we transferred to turbines after that. You know? Cool. Um, and your plane, your specific plane, but how long did it take to build, or did you do uh, a kit? Or? Yeah, it's a kit. Uh, it's a ARF kit, but it still takes you prop to about two months to put it together. If you were to do it properly, you know. yeah, I must say I've seen the painting and all the rest. Do you guys paint it yourselves? Some kids are painted. The, you know, the the owners paint them, and others you can buy them already painted. All right. Um, and if somebody's wanting to get involved in model airplanes, where would you say the best way of entry into? Well, your, you know, your best entry is get yourself to a decent hobby shop. 
and also ask a lot of questions. Go to model li flying fields and ask a lot of questions and everybody will be willing to help you because sometimes people can put you in the wrong direction and uh, you have to have a starting point where it's some a high winger, little motor, little radio. And that's basically what you get as much information as you can from everybody else. Yes, from everybody else and then you, you, you try and make up your own decision of what you want to do. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, that's all. All right. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot eh? All right. That's out to the camera. I didn't screw this in properly. <laughs> Uh, first, we assemble the wings as jets came you, you for, to transport them easily. We take the wings off and uh, then we just put the tube through to hold them and, and, and put them in and a little screw we screw them to make them tight. Cool, I can see also see all the electronics there that you've got to reassemble. I would imagine yeah, for this, the this is for, for all the surfaces on the wing. Uh, to make this jet actually to fly, you know, we have ailerons and flaps. We use the ailerons to turn the jet on its side and the flaps we use to slow it down uh, when we came in for landings or either when we take off, we have a takeoff flap to, to keep the nose wheel on the ground. Cool, I can see it's got a fair amount of um, pieces here and it's quite uh, involved. Uh, I see some of the other guys are also pumping air in. Um, what's that for? But uh, the jets are very fast. When they come to land, they land at about 100 and between 80 and 120 kilometers per hour. So we have to have brakes, disc brakes on, on the wheels. So uh, we have an air reservoir system where we put some air in and that, that uh, works the brakes, disc brakes. And then we have another air system which works the gear doors and the landing gear to, to Make the landing work properly. Out. Okay, cool. All right. You ready? All cool. right, there's a lot of electronics in, in a jet like this. First of all, we mm. have the fuel tanks, and then we have the brake valves, special brake valves and, and uh, gear valves, that cool. electronic valves that, that works the gears up and down, and the gear doors, and, and, and help with the brakes. We have a receiver with, with 14 channels, which each channel have a certain function in the jet. Cool. Then we do have a power box system. Uh, you, you, you couple two batteries on that system. That system distributes the power to each and the correct voltages. channel with the corrected voltage. And uh, if there's a voltage drop in the one uh, battery, the other battery uh, will take, we'll take over for redundancy. Um, you have a special small little fuel tank here to catch all the bubbles. Of course, if, if this little turbine get a bubble, it, 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 it goes out. It, but we never flame out. What distance or time, flying time, do you get off a tank like that? All right, it depends on, on there's a 16 kilogram thrust motor mm -hmm. in here, and uh, you'll get easily six to eight minutes on that fuel tank, and that's about five liters of fuel. Okay, cool. All right, and that's it. All right. Lots, lots of electric wires. You, you must I see there's also a feed port there, I would imagine, for programming stuff. Um, this one? Yeah. Yeah, this is when we start the, the turbine engine up, we have to monitor the temperature and the, the uh, uh, RPM. Um, and uh, you've got a handheld device which shows you what the temperature is. This temperature of this goes anything from 200 to, to 800 degrees centigrade. Yeah. So uh, if it over overheats, uh, overheats then, then it shut down and then it tells you what's the problem. You know? So yeah, there's, there's a lot of electronics in this thing. We're here with Boots from uh, www.jets-r-us.co.za. Hi, how's it going? Fine, thank good, you. Good, good. I hear you, I uh, see you guys are here at the model airplane thing. Uh, you've got a couple of planes here and I see even a Red Bull sponsored one, I'm assuming. Yes. Uh, um, do you want to tell us about what you have here? Um, well, we actually, Jets for Us is just a web-based. We're not, I'm not, I'm only a model, it's not my business. It's, okay. I, I actually do manufacture some aircraft, uh, especially jets like this. This Bootcat is actually my, sort of design thing that I build in the country. It's quite beautiful. 90% uh, of this aircraft is local content, even oh, down to the turbine is local content. Very um, Yeah, we just do it to, to promote the hobby in the country, especially jets. And um, 
we uh, organize events, we attend events and we also run our own event which is uh, just over Gharib or Gharib right. Fly-In which we, is most probably one of the biggest sponsored events in the country. Oh, very cool. How do you guys get involved in all the Oh, just in the blood and been doing that since a youngster. Uh, how many years now? Uh, since most probably age of 11. Okay, so you've been doing quite a while. For a while, yeah. And do you follow the normal migration from the, the smaller props? Oh, we've, and then we've been up? from the small ones to props to wherever, and that's where we landed up with this kind of stuff today. Cool. Do you want to tell me a bit about what each of these planes here we have? Uh, so you said this is one. Well, this design? is just a sport aircraft. Uh, it's basically built as an introductory, low cost, cheap entry aircraft. From there, you can range to these two behind you, which is more upmarket aircraft. This here is a very serious kind of aircraft. This one is personal specifically built um, for a speed challenge. Okay. Um, we want to set this, uh, try and set this African speed record with it. The world record at the current moment with an aircraft similar to this, well the same model as this, not the same motor content, is running about 542 kilometers an hour. Cool, and what are you guys trying to get to? Well, five, close to that or yes, faster. I mean the it. fastest recorded speed today in the country is around about 340 k's. Okay, so you um, definitely... So we will definitely... We'll we will fly that today, we won't push it as hard as the aircraft can just due to safety yeah. with the public here. But I'm sure we will be doing uh, in the region 400 plus today with that aircraft. Cool, I must say it's a beautiful aircraft there. Thank you. Um, other questions, if people wanting to get involved in stuff, how would you recommend they do that? Oh, you know, obviously jet side is not the entry level, but mm. um, your entry level will obviously be more sport orientated. Uh, starting with a little prop airplane and there's so many hobby shops around um, they can go to the hobby shops they can go to our website from our website you will get uh, uh, SAMA South Africa Model Aircraft Association on that website you will get all the local hobby shops as well as all the model clubs in the country and the best is to approach a club and then start from that way let's get into it <laughs>